happy birthday to John Ellis Bush, who turned 62 today. And like all Americans nearing retirement age, there is some good news and some bad news. The good news is he's about to get a huge birthday present at a Wall Street fundraiser for Jeb's Super PAC tonight, according to Politico. Tickets went for 100,000 smackaroos per person. The bad news is a troublemaker who worked for that super PAC just left Jeb World because of a bunch of stupid tweets that he stupidly tweeted. So, Mark, on balance, today, Jeb's birthday, is this a happy birthday or a sad birthday? It's a happy birthday. Everybody's staffing up. We talked about this last night. Everybody's going to have flaps. I continue to tell, say the biggest story in the Republican nominating fight now is Jeb Bush's fundraising dominance. I've never heard of a $100,000 head fundraiser that I can recall, and he's lapping the field right now. These other people are just getting started, figuring out who's going to be their national finance team. Jeb Bush is dominating. Well, Hunter, I agree with you about this. I think it's a happy birthday, um, and I think it's, you know, he's, he's, he's coming out pretty strong. We have seen in polling in Iowa, New Hampshire, and other places that he has some weaknesses in his candidacy. The reason I think the money is so important, beyond the fact that money just matters a lot, is that it's the only way for him right now, right? He's, he must dominate in fundraising. Without that, if you looked at his poll numbers, you wouldn't think he was very strong at all. So this is, racking up this kind of dollar, that, this is going to turn heads in the donor community, and that matters a lot. I'll tell you, the other reason it's a happy birthday for him is he is not facing pressure to answer questions from voters and from reporters right now with these controversies like this guy who left the pack after being there for a cup of coffee. A lot of people, if they were in office or if they were Hillary Clinton and held to a double standard, they'd be forced to respond for whatever reasons. And a lot of people would say not good reasons. Jeb Bush is not being forced to deal with these things. Controversies are happening, but he's not having to engage. Let me come back to the to the to the fundraiser tonight. Henry Kravis, uh, his uh, Ken Melman works there. Uh, the, Ken Melman, does this does this mean that Jeb Bush is winning the Melman primary? He might be. Okay.